So Infoway is a technology company, a fintech company. Um, so we, we consider ourselves the number one software provider for the financial sector for African uh, company that's doing that. Uh, we, are, we have um, locations of customers in, across West Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, and Ivory Coast. About 80% of all the bank or ex-banking subsidiaries use our solutions, especially in the equity trading and the asset management and fund management uh, side of things. So about 50 to 60% of all the trades that's processed in Nigerian Stock Exchange actually end up being processed by a solution. So it's an extremely in-depth solution that we provide. The world is moving away from just the regular processing of data now into the ability to be able to make inferences based on the large amounts of data that's available. So for Infoware, apart from the large body of customers that we have, we're also market data vendors. So we absorb really megabytes or maybe hundreds of megabytes of information on a daily basis. What we've been doing, especially in the last two years, is looking at how we can harness that data to make either inferences, to learn from it, and to provide products that benefit our customers. Last year, for example, we made a lot of investments and a lot of work to put a lot of work in, in how to actually integrate artificial intelligence into a number of our products. And we've actually come up with quite a number of them. For example, especially in the asset management space, um, in fund managers, fund managers, for example, the process is rather, um, it's complicated in some ways, but also, in apart from being complicated, it also has a lot of steps. So a fund manager has to manage the assets, and then they have to actually also manage the portfolio side of things. And if you miss a step along, those, along the line, it can result in all kinds of problems down the road. So what we've done is built a lot of artificial intelligence into it in such a way that the fund manager really doesn't have to even understand or know the full scope of all the intertwining, inter, um, and relationships, the system will stop them from making a mistake even before they make it, and it will tell them of the things that hasn't been done yet if they are trying to perform an operation that's going to cause them to have a problem down the road. So, I mean, and it's yielded quite a lot of very, very good results. So it makes the fund manager's uh, problem uh, much easier. And an easy way to look at it would be this. A lot of times, some fund managers lo lose a ton of money just because a mistake gets made. Somebody doesn't do something, and when I say ton of money, it runs into the millions of Naira, right? So with our system, a lot of that is essentially just avoided. It's a preventive measure, not even a proactive, a, a post-process measure. So that's one aspect. Other things that we've been doing with our software also is exactly um, using artificial intelligence now to look at that data, to mine that data, even for the benefit of the general public per se. So looking at this data and saying, okay, for it could be equities, it could be money market side of things, what exactly is going on with this equity? Is it likely to perform in this particular way? Is there something odd going on here? So in, in our system, like in our mobile app, we have this unusual volume detector thing, for example, that's constantly, not just post-process, but constantly scanning the data that's being made available in real time and surfacing any unusual activity that's going on in the stock, whether it's unusual volume, whether the price movement is going kind of out of whack. And there are some analysis that go into it. It could be that you're comparing against the 52 day, 52 week, um, or 52 day moving average and things like that. So it's quite in-depth and, and we're continuously enhancing it. We're creating models, looking at our models, validating models, and then releasing them when we've actually come up with something that looks real.